What's up guys? I want to thank you for checking out my channel. Welcome to AutoLogic. My name is Antrell and behind me we got the 2020 Camaro 2SS. She's a beauty. She's a beast. But before we get started on her, I want to say hit, please hit that like and subscribe. Follow me on this journey. It's a slow marathon but we're going to win it. We're going to keep it going. We ain't stopping it. Um, so just keep checking me out. We got a lot of things coming. Like I seen, like I said before in one of my other videos, um, we do we do go to car shows and car meets, uh, so we gonna keep those coming. And pretty soon here, we gonna get back into our auto reviews like we used to do, like this baby right here behind me. So let's welcome. This is the Camaro 2 SS. As you can see, it was a slight redesign from uh, the 2019. The 2019s didn't go over too well with how people, um, they didn't really like the design too much. Um, which I can understand that. You know, they moved the flow tie. Well, they moved the bow tie from there to here on the 2019s. And then for the 2020s, they moved the back up to the bumper, made that color match. On the 2019s, that was black. But all honesty, the 2019s didn't look that bad as people said that they did. Uh, especially if you got the uh, the one LE with the black hood and the black bumper, it was a nice looking car. My only issue with the 2019s was um, it looked too much like a Charger in the front, you know, with that with the way that it looked, or I guess now the new Honda Accord. But anyway, I digress. Back on this baby right here, the very aggressive styling. You see the lines. On the vehicle when you in the front when you did not front when you in the driver's seat you know this little hump that you see right here it almost make it look like the car has fangs which is pretty cool it's very muscular very aggressive i guess that's what i like about the camaro over the mustang is that the camaro always look, just looks more aggressive especially this car right here in black Oh my God, it's a very sinister looking vehicle. It looks like it's just ready to eat up anything that's in front of it. That's what I like about it. But um, some of the styling things, you know, I wish they wouldn't have done. Like this right here, I don't know. Maybe kept it all the way across and gotten rid of this. Almost makes it look like it has fangs. Which could work, I guess. Make it looks like, I want to say Dracula, but uh, Karyulica, if that's the word. It's a word I just made up. But this is it's beautiful, man. The wheels, I like the black wheels better, but this silver with the white looks pretty cool. Almost has that old school feel. Not old, old school, but maybe like the 80s. The 80s kind of wheel. But she, she's such a beautiful, beautiful car. See how the it comes down? There's actually two lines here. If you can see that, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. It kind of does a little bit. There's two lines here. How it drops down and it smooths out right there. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Then the line goes down. It kind of bulges out a little bit. I do believe these are 20s, 275, 30, 275, 35ZR20s. I have seen um, on videos where some guys have put uh, 305s and even 315s on the back of these in the rear, which to me is pretty epic. That's a lot of meat. I love the new headlights from 2019 and 2020. I mean, headlights, tail lights. It's still early in the morning, please forgive me. I love the new tail lights. They're gorgeous, love the way they look. The exhaust, I like it when you're driving it, unless you get on it, it's a little bit quiet, which is cool. I guess you need that for just cruising. Um, the one LE has the dual, this is the single. I mean, the one LE has the quad, this is just the dual, but you know, it's, it's just, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Now, what I thought they did, I thought they had two cameras, because um, there's a camera 
and the rear view for the rear view mirror, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, than a backup camera. So I thought they would have had two cameras because that's what they did before. But no, they moved everything to one camera. It's right there, right on top of the shark fin antenna, which is pretty cool. But when you first start driving it with the with the mirror, the camera that's a mirror, it's it's a little weird. It takes some getting used to. But once you get used to it, oh man, it's 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 nice. It's a nice addition to have. Got the Brembo brakes, the four caliber Brembo brakes up front. Got the four caliber Brembo brakes in the rear. She's ready, man. She's ready, she's ready, she's ready. I mean, I know a lot of guys, you know, they've done reviews on the Camaro already. But this is just me. This is the way I, I, I like to do my thing. You see at the top of the hood, I want to call it the, almost looks like the gurney bubble from the old GT40s. But I noticed that a lot of uh, performance vehicles, they've been doing that nowadays. They put the little hook in the front, make it look like a little bubble. Doesn't really give you much more headroom in the center in the vehicle, but it looks good on the outside. But right now, we're gonna let you hear the startup. It's not a cold startup, because I have to drive it, but um, you're gonna hear this baby, hold on. All right, right now, I'm gonna get you guys to start up. About to start the drive on this road that I found. It's a pretty cool road. I like it. Uh, it's probably one of Dallas's best kept secrets, and I still left the trunk open. Be right back. And I'm back. I think it's one of Dallas's best kept secrets. Um, pretty cool road. Driving enthusiast road. Uh, since I've been here and I've heard a few cars go by. Sounded like they're having some fun. But that's exactly what we're about to go do. But before I do that, I remember seeing the uh, launch control. Let's see if I can pull that up real quick. And I don't know how to do the launch control, but no matter. So, but what we will do is just do a standing start. sport mode and make it do what it do
curve here. Not too much. Like the way this car handles. Oh my god, this is cool. So cool. Right, 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 right. And she held. Tighten it up. 
going to turn around right here and go back. I don't want to turn in somebody's driveway. It don't want some driveway. Calvary Chapel. pause for a little bit so I can tighten this thing up oh I got people in front of me
out of that role. I was playing with the powder shields a little bit there at the end. I should have been doing it the whole time, but um, wow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Camaro 2 SS. If you have one, it's an amazing car, you know that. If you have a Camaro SS, not even a 2 SS, an SS, a 1LE, a ZR1, just whatever you have. Hope you're enjoying it. If you have a sports car, hope you can find a road that you can just really go have some fun on. I mean, because that's what they're there for. That's what we are. You know, we, we petrol heads. We love to drive cars. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I may do one more pull before we go. Right after this light, I got to make this right turn right here. And, uh, man, this is... Amazing, amazing, amazing. What are you car doing, yo? Look, now you about to have an accident because you weren't paying attention. And then I can't even do my pool. Uh, and on that note, you guys be safe, be quick, burn rubber and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and that bell icon.